Welcome everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to recognize coordinates in terms of x values and y values and how to plot points on the coordinate plane. How are we learning it? Through the coordinate plane Desmos picture notes and the coordinate plane Desmos picture assignment. When can we use this information? To determine the location of appliances, furniture, and walls when planning to remodel your house. How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of four on the coordinate plane Desmos picture assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll fill out your Get It Started. Once you've completed your Get It Started, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. After that, we'll go over the coordinate plane Desmos picture notes, and then I'll give you time to complete the coordinate plane Desmos picture assignment on Desmos. Once you've completed the assignment, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your Before You Go. Your only homework for tonight is to continue working on the linear equation study guide and any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's take a look now at the coordinate plane Desmos picture notes. The notes begin with the learning goals and success criteria. Now let's take a look at axes. So within the coordinate plane, we should notice that there's these lines that break up the X and Y's. The axes are the thick lines that break up the positive and negative values. So if we look here, we have our X's here that go this direction. And we have our positives on this side and our negatives on this side. And they're broken up by this line here that represents the negative Y's and the positive Y's. So they break up each other and create positives and negatives in each of these boxes. The X axis is the one that goes side to side. And it's usually labeled, but sometimes it's not. This is the X axis that goes side to side. The Y axis is the vertical axis, the one that goes up and down. This is the Y axis that goes here. From that, we form what we call quadrants. Quadrants are these boxes that are created from the axes. So this is a box, this is a box, this is a box, and this is a box. And we label them I through IV or one through four. So this is quadrant one right here. This is where we begin. And then we go counterclockwise this way around to create the other boxes. So this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. Notice each quadrant represents positive or negative x values and positive or negative y values. So for instance, quadrant one represents positive x values and positive y values. Quadrant two represents negative x values and positive y values. Quadrant three represents negative x values and negative y values. And quadrant four represents positive x values and negative y values. Now, how do we plot points on the graph? Well, first of all, we're given ordered pairs. Ordered pairs are single components of a relation containing an x value and a y value. So what that means is we're given an x and a y. For instance, this is an ordered pair, negative 2, 3. So the way this works is my x goes first and then my y. If you have trouble remembering that, just remember that they go in alphabetical order. So X, then Y. So my X is negative 2. So I'm going to go along the X axis and find negative 2, which is here. And my Y is 3. So I'm going to go along my Y and go up to 3 right there. And I'm going to plot my point. That represents negative 2, 3. Then we have negative 4, negative 6. Well, negative 4 on my x-axis, so I'm going to go find negative 4 on the x's, right there, and then negative 6. So I'm going to go down and find negative 6, which is here, and plot that point. Then I have 5, 3. So x is 5, so I'm going to go and find where x is 5, which is here, and y is 3, so I'm going to go find 3, which is right there, and there's that point. And lastly, I have 1, negative 3, so x is 1, so I'm going to go find 1 on the x-axis, which is here, 
and negative 3 on the y-axis, which is here. And I plot that point. And now I have plotted all four of these ordered pairs. Now, part of this is being able to plot the points, but the other part of it is being able to recognize the points once they're already graphed. So in this case, I'm given some points and asked to find where those ordered pairs are. So let's look at A, which is here. Well, I can see that my x value is 1, 2, 3, and my y value is down 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's x equals 3, y equals negative 4. So that would be my point for point A. Then I can do point B. Point B is right here. So I went to the right, 1, 2, so x is 2. y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I would be at 2, 6. Then I find C. C is here. So that's negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And my y is negative 1, 2. So C is negative 4, negative 2. Then I do D. D is right here. So that's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And negative 1. So negative 5, negative 1. Then E. E is here, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then negative 1, 2, so it would be 4, negative 2. Then F is here, so that's negative 1 and negative 1. And then G is here, so G is 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 3, 5. And then H is here, which is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4, and 1, 2, 3, so negative 4, 3. And so that's how I can look at graphs of coordinates and be able to figure out what their ordered pairs are. There's a video here now that shows you how to check your coordinates in Desmos. You can watch that as well. Let's talk now about how to check our work using Desmos. So on this one, we're going to look at graphing coordinates. So we're going to go to desmos.com, and we're going to click on where it says graphing calculator. And this gives us the opportunity to now plot points. So we're going to check coordinates and make sure that we did our assignment correctly. So let's say that one of the points was at 9, 2. So we're going to go ahead and put in parentheses 9, 2. And notice it graphed the point for me right there. If I want to add another one, let's call this 8, 4. Again, there's my next point. So I can plot as many points as I need to just in this is by using this format of parentheses and then the x coordinate, y coordinate, and then closing the parentheses. And I can graph any points that I want. So negative 2, negative 5 puts the point right there. So I can graph as many of these points as I need to, and Desmos will do it for me. So that's how you can let Desmos check your work for you. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment. And it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this. And right here where it says sign in with Google, we're going to click there. And it's going to pop up with our email accounts. You're going to click on your school email account. And it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom. From there, I'm just going to click start the activity and it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin. So that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's take a look now at the coordinate plane Desmos picture assignment. So the assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here that takes us to the Desmos activity. If we click on that link, it takes us to a page that looks like this. We'll go ahead and click start the activity. Again, this begins with our learning goals and success criteria. We'll go ahead and click next. And now it's going to give us a series of points that it wants us to place on the coordinate plane here and we're going to connect each of these points as well so we start with 0 negative 1 so x is 0 y is negative 1 so we're going to start right there so we're just going to click and put a point 
And then we're going to go to negative 1, negative 1, which is right there. So negative 1, negative 1, just like that. And then we're going to go to negative 1, 1. So there's negative 1, 1, right there. 0, 1, so 0, 1, right here. And 0, negative 1 is here. So we're going to create, so we're going to connect these points. So we're going to connect this one to this one. So we're going to use the this tool here. We're just going to connect these dots just like this. And there's my first shape. Then I'm going to click next. And notice it carries on. So it's here. Now we're going to do shape two. So we would go ahead and plot these points. So negative two, negative six. Right there, we have negative three, negative seven, just like that. Then negative three, negative nine, just right there. And negative two, negative nine, just there, just like that. And now we'll connect those points. So negative two, negative six to here. So we're going to connect this one. Then this one, then this one. Notice it didn't tell me to connect these back together, so I just leave it there, just like that. And then I click Next. And now just notice now both of them are here. So you'll continue to do this all the way until you get to the end. At the end, you should end up with a giant picture here that represents the entire photo. And you should be done at that point. Then you'll go back to your Google Form, click Next. This will send you to your before you go. Go ahead and submit your before you go, and then submit your work on Google Classroom.